and hello again and here we are back in my conservatory at the back of the house where I'm doing a quick test fit of this new bracket which holds the Speedo Taco unit to these risers which we made a while ago. And thankfully it seems to fit okay, I got my measurements right and the holes are spot on when it comes to fitting it back on the bike uh, and fitting the risers to the yokes. And now here we are with the bracket, it's now the next day. I've taken it off the bike so that I can slot these holes here to move back the bracket on the risers and get it just right. Um, but the more I think about it, the more I think, you know, some of, this bracket isn't quite right yet. It's too kind of crude, it's too blocky to see that at the front of the bike, kind of breaks up the lines of the risers. It just doesn't look quite right. So I had a little think and I made myself a little paper template, which is here. And I think what I'm going to do, let me just turn it around, because it should go like this. Uh, is I think I need to um, cut out this slot here, this area here, and also there to sort of open it up, and that would then allow um, the risers to be seen a bit more, and I think it just look a lot better. And now here we are, an hour or two later, and it's almost finished. I've still got to finish off the uh, edges, make them a bit more neat and tidy, but yeah, it doesn't look too bad. And so now I'm going to try it on the bike and decide whether I actually like it or not. And now here's that modified bracket back on the bike for just another test fit. Looks okay, but these slotted holes need a bit more work because as you can see, hopefully, um, this edge of the bracket isn't quite yet aligned with the corner of the riser. Only by about a millimetre, but that makes quite a big difference. So I've just got to uh, file this down one more mil to widen the slot and then hopefully everything should look a lot better and be spot on. And once that's done, I can then polish all this along with the risers and get the whole damn thing back on the bike for the last time. And now here are the risers and its bracket, all polished. And I must say it took many, many hours to get to that point and I'm glad it's now over and done with. So now let's get that back on the bike and see how it looks. And here they are, back on the bike at last. And I must say they do look a lot better, a lot more integrated now that they've been polished. So I'm pretty happy with that. And with that done, it's now time to move on to the electrics. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of wires here to sort out and to make sure they're all nice and neat on the bike. Uh, but also, I've got to change a few more things as well. Which brings me to these Kellerman bar end indicators, which I want to get rid of um, for two reasons. First of all, they're quite wide and they make the whole bike about six inches wider than it needs to be. And the second reason is because the style of them doesn't really fit in with the rest of the bike. That said, when I bought them back in about 2000, uh, there wasn't much of a choice out there. So these would have to do. But these days, there's plenty of choice out there and ones that have caught my eye are made by a German company, Multigadget, and they're very small, about 20 millimeters in depth, and I think they'll work really well on this bike. But I've not seen any yet, so I'm waiting for my uh, local bike shop to get some in, and we'll see what I think of them. And until they arrive, along with some other bits and bobs, I can't really carry on and sort out the wiring, because uh, I need all the wires um, on the bike before I can work out where they're all going to go. So that'll have to wait.